All right, so before we actually jump into the video that I did with the boy Nagato uh, to showcase this Elizabeth for the red demon raid, the fat one. So uh, we're actually talking about this unit before. So basically this unit is, in my opinion, one of the best units to use in the red demon because she does a lot of damage as long as you give her the time to stack up, which is probably like three to four turns and you're stacked up all the way. You do not want her to take any damage, so you're going to have to bring... Normally, of course, um, you know, someone who can petrify like Merlin or King, which you want to bring them all the time anyway. But for this unit, uh, she's super good because even on her level 1s and 2s, she still, she still does a lot of damage. But if you get her into her level 3s, she does insane damage. Like, she can do over 500,000 for her ultimate, or she can do like two, maybe 150,000, 200,000 for her like level 1 and 2 stars for her normal attacks. Before the rolling ham attack right here, inflict 500% damage to a single enemy and applies rush. So that ignores the defense of the red demon. So that's good because you're going to just insanely attack like crazy. Then her second skill is Hawk Knight Rush. So this cleanses a single enemy's buff effect and deals 360% damage. So the cleanse is going to remove an active effect. So if the red demon has any effect, this can take it off. And then also seals buffs and debuff skills for two turns. So that, of course, seals is a disables a type of skill. That's actually really good as well for running on this red demon because you do want her to do a lot of damage, but you don't want the red demon to have any kind of buffs. So she can at least take off those for a good minute. So that's why I recommend her for this red demon raid just because it is super crazy for her. And then it, as long as she doesn't get attacked, she gets a crazy attack boost. So if you see her passive, because I, I want to talk about her passive before we get to her ultimate. So her full stomach, if not damaged, so don't let her get any t attacks on uh, attack, basically. Use a Merlin or a King to petrify. So then she can have her basic stats increased by 10% at the beginning of the next turn. Reset upon taking damage. So she can keep on stacking. Now it doesn't tell us what the exact full attack stats you can like, uh, you know, go up to. I don't know if there's a cap to it, but if it's 10% every single turn, it's just going to go 10, 20, 30%, 40%, and keeps on going. And then you also have, uh, if you have Gother on your team, he also does an extra 10%, so you can do that for stacking. And that's going to be very helpful because she's going to do like crazy damage. Because then when you do her final pork stomping, this is where it gets crazy. Cleanse, which is of course, it removes an active effect, the stance of a single enemy, and deals 700% damage plus her stacked attack of 10% with Gother as well with the 10%, you're doing over 500,000 plus, which she can do over a million attack stats. And this is the thing, she's an SR unit. As long as you get to SSR and UR and keep on working on her, she can, even at a level 60 uh, unit, she is still crazy. So that's why I say she's one of the better units to run for the actual uh, raid, but she does take three to four turns to get stronger, which I don't mind. It's better that way anyway, but She's better for her gear sets as attack and defense, we can do that. But of course, she is one of the better units for it. But let's actually get into the video right now. Alright, so this is going to be a showcasing of the Elizabeth. So this is Elizabeth. We got the boy Nagato today, so say what's up, my boy. What's up? They, he needed a good Elizabeth, yeah. I brought mine. So one of the I, only people that actually leveled her up. <laughs> so 75 actually, so it is level 75 and I can 100% say People will debate me with this and with Nagato, but Elizabeth is one of the best units for this raid. So I'm actually want to showcase this unit just to let you guys know that this is something you definitely want. So let's actually just go ahead and get into it. So yeah, real quick, I'm changing. I'm changing. Yeah, go ahead, change it. I'll talk for a second. But um, it's real quick. Elizabeth is crazy. So every turn she gets a stack boost for what 10%, right? Yep. I so yep. 10 every and turn combined if... with gopher that also does the same thing is actually crazy yeah so that's gopher basically boosts the allies as well yeah for how how much though i forgot exactly 10. Ten. okay so Ten. Th so it's stacking to 20 percent basically no nah, he stacks infinitely as well the... or he stacks to the push of 50. Something okay like okay that. he also so stacks per time. basically elizabeth is going to be doing damage so that's what we're looking for so but that's what we're going to showcase in okay. this video we're going to ready up all right so Go ahead when you're ready. All right, so this one, basically, we have to wait a couple turns. Now, if you use oh, it's Elizabeth, mine. I thought it was it's yours. <laughs> if you use Elizabeth, you have to make sure that you have King on your team or Merlin if you want to petrify. Basically, that's what you're gonna have to do to get Elizabeth if to. You, if do you're more doing damage. this raid in general, you gotta petrify him. Yeah. But right here, okay, so you have a good team, and I have um, 
I have Escanor to do a little bit of damage. But, alright, so basically, what we normally start off with is... I can Petrify right now, by the way. So I'll Petrify him. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, but okay. at least let's attack a little bit. Um, so I'll do this for that. And, alright, go ahead. Let's right. Petrify him. Yep. Oh, I'll freeze him next turn. Alright. So... Elizabeth, it does take some time for her to get stronger, so we're just gonna have to play it through. It takes like match. three turns. Three to four, but what's the what's the highest you've gotten her to? I mean, she can hit like 150k on her level three like easily. Like usually the the raid ends pretty fast, pretty fast. So I never like really stacked with her. Mm -hmm. But like I, I reckon she can get like 300k on her level three if you let if you let her stack, you know. You got petrify, right? Yep. Go ahead. This one right here, th this one doesn't do too much damage, but at least she seals buffs just in case you can't petrify. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't do too much damage, this, this one that she does. Boop! Only 16k. Which isn't, I mean, it's that's not, still good. Nah, it's not. Like, we just. <laughs> Compared to, like, Askinage did 31k type disadvantage. That's true. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> Alright, I, I can ult him. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just kill him. Actually, 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 let me do something real quick. I can do, uh... Go I'm gonna through. use the freeze. Uh, I'm gonna use the freeze. Is uh, it level 3? No, level 2. Alt. Boom. Nah, he, he's dead. This turn, he's dead. Yeah, just... Next turn, I'll open it for Elizabeth. And, and now, like, from next turn on, she just doing crazy damage. Pretty much. Man, this like is gonna... A level 3, um... Freeze plus her regular level three does insane damage, like 500k. It's like, yeah. I'm just waiting it's for. Insane. I'm just waiting for a really good Merlin. Like, you I have really good Merlin, a green one. Yeah, I need to pull that red one though. All right, so I, I mean, can right now, uh, right now, yeah, Petrify. You don't need red Merlin. Like, you you can just you can just use the unit I told you. Uh, the one oh, from BR shop. Yeah, I do need to yeah. get that. So look, 101,000. Yeah, she, she's almost there. 59,000. She's already doing like, like some pretty good damage. That is how crazy this unit is. Like, yeah, you can use Slater, because Slater is one of the better units to use as well, if you want to like finish off this raid quickly. But I'd rather just do a quick 3-4 turns just to see that much damage. Like, that is crazy now the damage. thing, the thing for me is that Slater takes SR, SSR uh, pendants. That's true. Elizabeth this doesn't. Takes SSR pendants. Yep. I can petrify again. All right. I'm an old though. Right, go ahead and yeah, and that's the thing. Like this is an SR unit. Like you can literally, you will pull her so many times when you're summoning that you can easily get her ultimate to level six as well. So yeah, that's why I definitely say this unit's the better option. But and Speedy's people... back. What's up, Speedy? She is the <laughs> best unit. Are you recording? Yeah, we're recording yeah. real quick. It's because we're recording his showcase of Elizabeth. With my Elizabeth. Yeah. <laughs> <you're in. laughs> okay, I got her ultimate. Uh, at level 3. At level 3. Alright, perfect. So, so this, is done. this is definitely going to be a lot of damage. This is done. No, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead, I'm telling you. Wait, He has let full me... health. Oh, okay, yeah, it doesn't even dead. matter. I'll freeze at the end just in case. Okay. You can you can do your thing. I'm gonna just heal. I, I just want to see this. I just want to see this. So this is the. Level two All right, what's gonna happen? Oh boy. We didn't really, we, we we finished this pretty quickly, so I don't think. Four hundred ninety-three thousand, yeah. almost half a we mil. We finished it pretty quickly. She almost. can get like seven hundred k if it takes a little, a little extra while. That's still a lot though. Like that is. Crazy. Yeah, he won she one shots. Yeah. And I got four, six. Me? I got, horns. I, I got screwed up. I got screwed up on my horns. I'm upset. I got six horns. I got four. <laughs> All right. Look so his okay. So Nagato's is level seventy five. You don't need. You don't even need that much, honestly. You can nah. even do a level sixty. Speedy's is level sixty, and he does pretty much the yeah. same as I do. Like I have. Yeah. I have you don't Elizabeth. need to level up Elizabeth. Like the, that's, the, that's the best part of her. Like with with Slater, you need to invest on him, giving like crit equipment. You need to freaking do all of that. Same. With Elizabeth, is like you level her up to sixty. I'm yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, like I have her level sixty right here. You guys can see on the screen, and then I have her ultimate on level six. So she's good. Like I can use her whenever I want, but. 
I'd rather use Nagato since it's a, since it was a little bit stronger. I mean, you, can, you can do you can do both. Like me and Speedy, do. we finished this super quickly. Yeah, I'll probably I'll Elizabeth. probably start using it more often. But listen, I want to say something before you end the video. Slater is better. That uh, I was buddy. expecting him to say that. Aye, right, buddy. But that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like, subscribe if you're brand new, and of course check out the boy Nagato, and of course Speedy since he's here as well. They're both nah, doing nah, content nah. for he it. He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> he says Slater's better. It's all good. But um, any uh, any other words, Nagato, before I just end, end up the video. video? Okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> all right, just guys.